Hi everyone, so this video I'm finally going to give a tutorial on this kind of flower headpiece. The so last time I did one on my channel, tons of you asked for a tutorial. A lot easier than you might think. The only thing that's really hard about it is that it requires a lot of supplies and kind of a lot of patience, but if you're like me and you have no life, that really shouldn't be a problem for you. If you're interested in the tutorial on this makeup look, that's coming right after this video. Once I've uploaded it, I'll put the link down in the description of this one. But without any further ado, here's the tutorial on this headpiece. First of all, let me apologize for this table. I used to paint on this table. This is kind of like my shit table around my house where like, if I have anything messy I need to do, I do it on here. Also, in other news, can we talk about the fact that I've done my makeup? three times today. The first two times I did my makeup to film this, it turned out horrendously, so I tried to give it one last try, only to find out that my face wouldn't even be in this video. So let's get into this headpiece. The materials you'll need are as follows. For the flowers, you're gonna need some foam sheets, also known as foam paper, also known as EVA foam. Next, you're gonna need scissors to cut the foam, obviously. This here is optional. I just have an eyeshadow palette that I'll be dipping into. I like to use these to add some shading to the foam. And of course you're gonna need a fluffy eyeshadow brush just to brush that eyeshadow on. Next you're gonna need an iron and this is gonna help heat up your foam and help bend it. If you don't have this, you could use a flat iron for hair, but I just find that that's kind of too small of a surface area and this is kind of the perfect size. Then you're gonna need a glue gun and you can get this at the dollar store and you can also get these at the dollar store. You're gonna want lots and lots of glue sticks. Then to secure it onto the head, you're gonna want a headband. Just make sure it's made of a hard material since it needs to be kind of sturdy. And also make sure that the surface area is thick enough for you to place stuff on it. You don't want like a thin headband. Since we want to build some height on top of this headpiece, you're gonna want something to glue on top of this before the flowers. And I'm gonna be using some styrofoam. I got this styrofoam ball at the dollar store and I'm gonna be cutting it up into slices that we can glue onto this, as you'll see later on. All right, so we're going back into our foam. I'm just selecting this large sheet and I'm gonna show you guys how to do three types of flowers. There's roses, magnolias, and carnations. We're gonna start off doing a magnolia and that's gonna be our biggest type of flower. We're gonna start out with our largest petal. It's gonna be kind of this size. And I'm just gonna cut out four more petals of that exact same size. Um, I don't use any templates. I'm not sure the exact size of these. I mean, at the end of the day, nature isn't perfect, so it doesn't matter if they're all like kind of a little bit different as long as they're roughly the same size. Then just keep cutting out more petals until you have five of the same shape. Then we're gonna move a stage lower than this and cut out five more petals, each of them being a little bit smaller than this. So this is our biggest size. So I'm done making my second size. As you can see, comparing them to the other one, these are a little bit smaller. Now we're gonna just do one last size that's even smaller than this one. All right, and when you're done, you should have three different sizes, five of each size, a large, medium, and small. After I'm done those three sizes, I like to go back into the foam and make um, like two or three just smaller petals. Um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them in just a minute, but make a couple extra. These are gonna be the little bud that's in the center. So now that we have all of our petals, what we wanna do is curl them with some heat. Curl them, what we're gonna use is our iron. We're gonna take our petals and all we're gonna do is just lay them flat on that iron. As you can see, compared to a non-heated up one, um, it's just a lot more curly, it has a lot more life to it, and while it's still hot, that's your time to kind of mold it to the shape that you want. I'm just kind of molding it so that the sides kind of curl up, and then you're gonna do that to every single petal. While you're waiting for the petals to bend on the iron, now is a great time to go in with your colors and add some shading, so I'm just gonna dip into this dark blue eyeshadow from my Urban Decay Electric palette, and I'm just gonna add some shading. I want to add the shading mostly on the inside and have it kind of fade out. The bigger petals, you don't really want that much to curl to them. You kind of just want them to be a little bit more on the natural side, whereas as you get smaller, you can kind of give them more of a dramatic curl. Basically, all I'm doing after it comes off the iron is I'm taking the edge and I'm kind of rolling it inward, as you can see here. Now all that's left is these three smaller petals that we created as well. What I'm gonna do with it is just gonna curl it all the way so that it's kind of like this. Basically these other two are kind of just gonna wrap around this one, kind of putting it in there like a little burrito. Put a little bit of glue in the larger ones. 
All right, so here's that little rose bud we made, but we're gonna set that aside for now and work on all of our petals. There is a chance that you might get a little bit of glue on your surface. You can use a little like, literally a piece of garbage I found from my bin. Just in case if you do get any glue on your surface, it doesn't ruin it. Basically, I'm just gonna start off with one petal from my larger size and I'm putting a little bit of glue on the center and then I'm adding another petal. And when you're gluing it on, definitely make sure that the curl is facing up and that the shaded part is near the middle. That is our little base star. Now when you're adding the second tier of sizes, what you want to do is position it so that it doesn't go right on top of the other one, but it's kind of in between. Then finally, we're going to add this little bud in the center, but as you can see, it's like very huge. So all I'm going to do to this is kind of cut off a little bit of the end and then just add some glue on the bottom. Then you're just going to plop it there in the middle. And with that, you're finished with your little magnolia flower. Okay, so the next flower we're gonna make is a rose. So select your color. I'm using kind of a darker truer blue for this one. First, what you wanna do is create kind of like that general flower shape that like kids draw on paper. Um, I'm not sure how else to describe it. This shape is just to create that bud that's gonna be in the center and all the petals that are gonna be flowing out of that, we can create one by one. This is how it turned out. It doesn't need to look perfect. This is actually one of the better ones I've made, to be completely honest. That's basically the general shape that we're making. You kind of want to make them in various sizes. This one is probably on the smaller side and this one on the bigger side, but everything within this range is kind of just like a general, I don't know, blob. I'm really not sure as to how many petals I create. I kind of just go until I run out of foam. Um, I would say maybe about 10 to 15 petals, maybe even 20. Like with the other flower, everything we cut out, we are gonna want to curl and add shading to. So I have my little iron here. And I'm gonna start adding petals. I'm kind of curling these edges like diagonally down towards the center. That way I'm kind of creating a triangular tip, like so. The difference with the other flower that we created is that with the magnolia, we had the curled side facing up. But with the rose, the curl side is gonna face down. And so the shading, we're gonna add to the back of the flower. And I'm just gonna repeat this exact same process with all the petals. All right, so I'm done making all of my petals and shading them and curling them. All that's left is this little middle piece here. So all I'm gonna do is lay this on and I'm just gonna take those petals and curl them just like I did with these. So in this little star, I'm gonna choose the smallest petal, which would be this one. And I'm gonna curl it in on itself like so. Add some glue to a nearby petal and I'm just gonna put this little joint looking thing on there and they are just gonna hug each other nice and tightly. So for our next petal, instead of taking this and hugging these two, what I'm actually gonna do is gonna go around to the other side. That way the curl faces out. Same with all the other ones, the curl we're gonna have face outward as such. I'm gonna go in with another small petal and I'm gonna add some glue to the bottom of that and I'm gonna apply it like so. You want to kind of um, stagger them and kind of spread them apart and so that they're in between each other. Then you're just gonna continue this process all around the flower. So there's a the finished rose. Um, as you can see, compared to the last flower we made, this is a lot smaller. Yeah, the next flower that I'll show you is gonna be a carnation and it's even smaller and simpler than this one. All you really need to do for this flower is cut out three different sized circles. You don't need any shading, none of that. It's probably the easiest one that we're gonna make. Then you're gonna wanna cut out one that's a little bit smaller than that. And then finally, you're gonna make a smaller circle. And that's gonna be the smallest of the three. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut into the circle. You're gonna cut a snip like that. And then on the opposite side, cut like that. Then we're gonna cut each half into halves again. Like so, that way it's split into fours. And then we're gonna split it into eighths by cutting each one in half again. And then we're gonna split it into sixteenths by cutting each one in half one last time. Basically what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna turn each one of these little slices into a petal. So we're gonna 
cut it out like so. That way it should look like that and you're gonna do that to all of the slices on the circle. This is what you should have in the end, a bunch of small little petals like so. I'm just gonna do the same thing to these other circles and I'll be right back. All right, so once you have three little flower shapes all like this, you're gonna wanna put them on your hot little iron like so. And what you'll see with these is that it curls really magnificently. Eventually it's gonna curl so much that it just rolls in on itself like so. All right, and once you have these three little layers all rolled up and curly, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your smallest one and you're gonna add a little dollop of glue to the back of that and you're gonna glue it to your medium sized one. And then similarly, you're gonna glue this inside your largest one so they all kind of fit like that. Zhuzh it up and play with it so it doesn't look like, I don't know, like something a cat coughed up. Um, I kind of like the center one to be a little bit more rolled up while the outer one to be a little bit more like kind of wispy. But yeah, this flower is very easy to make. It's probably the fastest one. So I made a ton more flowers off camera, so I have lots to work with, but I am gonna set these aside for now. So the way we're gonna mount all of these flowers on the headband is using some styrofoam. So I have a little chopping board here and a knife to cut the styrofoam. I'm just gonna cut the styrofoam ball right down the center. Then what I'm gonna do with each of these halves, I'm gonna put them down like so, and then I'm gonna cut a little bit off the ends here. And the reason why I cut off these ends is because I need a flat surface to glue them onto the headband, and if they're circular, they're just not gonna glue down properly. So you should have this kind of shape now, and once you're left with that, you're gonna cut it up into some slices. Honestly, you can set the other half aside and use it for a separate headpiece. I'm only gonna use the one half, so you should have three main parts. So taking my headband, I'm gonna be gluing the largest one right here to the top, and taking these two other ones and gluing them right here to the sides. Now the last step is just to glue all of the flowers to work so hard on onto this headpiece, and it actually for me, it helps if I have a little mannequin. I got this in Michael's, sorry if it's dirty, my brother was playing with this, but I like to just put this on. Now, before you start gluing, it's nice to kind of just place them on with your hands, just to kind of get a feel of what it's gonna look like in the end. But once you're happy and you're confident, then you can just go ahead and glue it on. So this is the finished headpiece. As you can see, the back looks like kind of a mess. Obviously, if I was wearing this out of the house, I would do the front and the back, but since I only really make these for pictures, I only really worry about the front. Um, but yeah, there's lots of variations you could do to this. You could add glitter, you could add spikes, you could add leaves. To the last one that I made, I did add like a chopstick to the end of it just to elongate this headband so I could have the flowers cascading down all the way to my shoulders. But any variations you want to add to it is totally up to you and your artistic integrity. That's the finished headpiece. This is what it looks like on. I hope you guys learned something cool from this video. If you ever tried to make one of these things yourself, I'd love to see them. So definitely tag me in your pictures. All my social media links will be down below. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.